So what I'm going to be looking at today is how to take a basic plot of a line graph here using the df.plot. So you've got three lines here and make it to where uh, we can change these variables up here to turn the lines on and off. So if I was to turn off line two, I would run this code again. And we'd have uh, the line one and line three with line two being hidden. So to visualize what I'm trying to accomplish here, I've gone ahead and I've plotted three lines in Excel and we have those plotted here. And so if I wanted to just hide uh, maybe line three and have only line one and line two showing, what I'd do is I'd come over here and click on this uh, filter right here and we can see that there's three, uh, four, but for each, each line is a checkbox, okay? And so I'd uncheck uh, to add a three there and I'd hit apply and then it hides line three, only shows line one and line two. So we want to recreate this checkbox function inside of Python to where we'll have a variable that we can change to true or false, and it will um, do the same thing as it did on that graph there. Okay, so let's start with just the preliminary stuff. So I'm going to import pandas. I'm also going to import matplotlib, uh, and that's matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And then I'm also going to do the variables. <clears throat> so we're going to have uh, three lines on this chart. First, we're just going to have all of these as true. So then the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the code that I have for plotting the, uh, the line graph. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to copy over just a, a template of uh, some basic data that we're going to be using to plot on that line graph. So uh, <clears throat> what we have here is a dictionary and we have, uh, it says numbers, but these are going to be the, the lines and we have the line data here and then we're just putting this into a data frame. <clears throat> so if we were to print that, I'm going to comment this out for now. We can see we're getting a, a data frame here and we've got uh, these numbers as columns. So before we uh, look at how to adjust this to, to make these variables work up here, let's first figure out how we would take df.plot and use it to plot the data frame up here. And so I'm going to just go down these uh, parameters and talk about each of them uh, one by one. <clears throat> so use index, what this is doing is on the x uh, on the, uh, the x axis here, it's just taking zero and plotting uh, one, two, three, and we can see it's doing it in half intervals. Uh, so that's just something it's doing for whatever reason, but basically what, what it's doing is it's using the index that we have here of 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and it's starting with 0 on the far left and then <clears throat> going from left to right. If we wanted this to be like a time down here, what we would do is we would, instead of doing use index, we would just come over here and do x equals, and then we would specify uh, the, the name of the column in the data frame that we would want to use for the date. So if we had like a, a date time up here and we had a, a bunch of dates in a list, what we could do is we could just say whatever the name of it is. So date time. <clears throat> That's going to work for X and Y. So we can, what you can see down here is I've specified the column numbers one and that's what we were plotting. It's taking this and it's reading this and saying, okay, <clears throat> what are the numbers inside of um, numbers one? And it's using that to plot it on the graph. So when we do, uh, so when we type something here in, in, in a string format, it's going up and looking and figuring out which column to use. Conversely, down here with the labels, works a little different. We're not, <clears throat> it's not coming up here and looking at this and saying, you know, what, what's the corresponding thing. Down here, it's, it's going to literally take whatever we type in here and, and use it as the, uh, the text on the legend. So if we run this again, 
Uh, let's see. <clears throat> we can see it's, it's using that specific text there uh, for the for the line. So, so these right here, these are just sort of, uh, I think these are self-explanatory. There's nothing fancy here. Uh, we're telling it that we want, want it to do a line graph. <clears throat> here we're telling it exactly what we want the title to be. Uh, we're turning on the, the the square grid on the graph here, and then legend equals true. Uh, this is not needed uh, necessarily because it's going to default to true if we don't have anything. So there's always going to be a legend on there. So we could erase this, and <clears throat> it would have or, uh, legend equals true. We could erase that, and it would have a legend. But I'm just going to leave it here because if you want to turn it off, you have to do legend equals false, and so it just makes it to where. If, I wanted to turn it off for whatever reason. I could do that pretty easily. But uh, then we had the, the font size down here, which uh, controls the font size. So that's going to conclude looking at uh, those parameters. So now let's think about why we can't just reference something here from the dictionary for the label. So let's say, you know, why can't we just have something where we say, uh, up here we say uh, uh, legend. Uh, text and then uh, have a line A, line B, <clears throat> and then reference this as legend text. Why can't we do that? Well, we see up here that we have one, two, three, four, five uh, data sets. And so down here, it's going to want five uh, pieces of data. Keep in mind that we only need three entries because we only have three lines. So when we think about what this is going to be, this could be five points. It could be a thousand and five points. <clears throat> um, but if we had something like this, we would have to match the numbers inside of there. So that's, that's why it's not going to work. We, we don't want it to have a different line. We're not looking for a different line for every single one of these numbers. We just want uh, a single uh, piece of text for each of these columns. So let's look at how these work down here uh, to figure out what our output needs to be. So we already plotted this and we see we have this just in uh, string format and, and it's worked fine. If we wanted to have all three lines on there, what we would have to do is we'd have to wrap this into a list <clears throat> and then just specify exactly which ones we want. Now we have three lines up here, and so we have to match that down here at the labels by specifying three things. Okay, so <clears throat> close off that list. So let's run this, and we can see that that's exactly what we wanted there. We have three lines and three legends where we're specifying it. So this is the output that we need to get to. So uh, how do we get there? Uh, and, and then, and then, we, if we want to have this to where, let's say, this is false, we want it to automatically adjust to where uh, it will remove this and only return numbers one, numbers three, and then uh, like that. So this is the way I came up with. So we're going to use another data frame. So I'm going to call this uh, initial thing legends here. We're just going to have a dictionary. So what we're going to say is, uh, what are the, the variables? Uh, this is going to be the first column of the data frame. And we're going to end up filtering this to only include in the data frame the, the ones that are listed as true. And that's what's going to serve as the, the filter. Um, so let's just go ahead and do that. So right here, we're going to have just our variables. Show line one, show line two, show line three. <clears throat> the next one here is going to be what our uh, Y variable is going to pick up. So uh, you can see this is the format we want here something where we have a string and then the name of the column up here. So uh, for 
for line one, what is line one? Well, it's, it's called numbers one. That's what we're going to put here. And the third uh, one we're doing here is, is the one we want for labels. And so this is where we're going to define exactly what we want the uh, labels to be. And what we can do here first is just to show how this works. I'll, we can put here uh, the, what we want it to show exactly. So if we said we wanted to show this is line one for uh, the first one. And then uh, this is line two. It'll plot those directly onto the graph, and uh, we would change them here if we wanted to. Or if we want to split those out into variables up here, we could say uh, line name one equals this is line one. So we could have it broken out like that, and then we can change these down here to reference those variables, just like we did in the, uh, the variable column. So next we're going to throw this into a data frame, and so we're going to call this TF Legends. Let's PD that data frame. So now if we were to print this, we'll be able to see exactly what the output is. And so I'm going to comment this out for the time being. So down here we can see this is the data frame that's returning. So we have uh, for uh, the first row, we have a, a true. For line one, we have a true. Uh, the uh, column name there for the data is called numbers one and the uh, name that we want on the uh, legend is this is line one and so it works the same for line two here and line three here and so at, at this point what we want to do is filter out uh, the falses and have just the trues <clears throat> so right down here I'm going to say df legends What column do we want to filter? We want to filter the variables column, and we only want to see the ones that are true. Okay, so let's run this again. And we can see it's filtered out that false, and now we have only line one and line three, uh, which are both true. And so now at this point, what we want to do is we want to take this from a data frame, and move it to the, the list that uh, this thing will be able to read. And so to do that, I'll come here and I'm going to call this y list equals df legends dot, uh, what do, what's the column we want? We want line data. And we're going to take that line data column and we're going to move it to a list. And we're going to do that by just saying to list. Then we're going to do the same for uh, line name. So we're going to call this legend list and I put this in the wrong spot I'm realizing so I want this after we filter it <clears throat> so now let's go ahead and print the Y list and the legend list and see what that looks like Okay, and so we can see down here, uh, right here is, is what the output is, and that's exactly uh, what we're looking for. It matches exactly what uh, the format is down here. 
And so now at this point, I'm going to uncomment this, and all we need to do is pass in the uh, variable of y list here. And then legend list down here. You see the note over here. This can be changed to uh, Y list up here if you want to use the default column names as the legends. So if we wanted it uh, to be the same as our column names here, where we have numbers one, numbers two, numbers three, we could do that as well. So at this point, uh, we're, we're good. So I'm going to come at this and we're going to give this a run. Okay, we can see there that we've got uh, line one and line three showing, line two's hidden. Let's come up here and change these around now. I'm gonna turn on line two, and I'm gonna turn off line three. All right, and so we can see there that we've turned off line three, and we have uh, line two showing this time. So I'll just do this one more time just to visually see the change. I'm going to turn all of them on. And we can see all of them are now plotting. 